Okay, so I'm actually halfway through working on another video. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Hades 2 drops. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Better drop literally everything in my entire life and play a buttload of Hades 2. So that's what I've been doing, playing a buttload of Hades 2. This video is completely unscripted. I don't even know what I'm going to say. I just know that I want to bang on about Hades 2 for a while because I am loving it. Now, I have said this on the channel before. Sorry to bore you if you've already heard it, but I don't like roguelikes. Not a fan. I don't like starting again and then just you know, repeat, rinse and repeat. They can get old, right? Find it a little boring sometimes. But the first Hades, oof, that really caught my attention. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I don't hate road likes. Or maybe I just really, really, really love Hades. Either way, I really loved Hades. So when Hades 2 was inevitably announced, I'm pretty sure it's on old videos of most anticipated games for like three years running. We have waited long enough. Hades 2 is now out in early access on PC only, unfortunately, but we will talk a little bit about that later. If you love Nintendo stuff, if you love video games or nerd things or the plushies, maybe you should consider subscribing because I also like those things. We can be friends. How good? So Hades 2, in my humble opinion, is the perfect sequel. Everything you loved about the first Hades is here. It's all there. All that roguelike action, all that Greek mythology, it is still there in droves. And at its core, very similar. Just heaps of fun. Great game. But it does more than enough to not only separate itself from the first game, but to surpass it. And surpass it by a lot. There are so many new mechanics in this game. I'm not going to go over them all right here because honestly, I want you guys to try them for yourself. But there is more than enough to keep you interested run after run. In the first Hades, I felt like I was just gunning for the end. In fact, I only ever beat, beat a run once. I got to the end of the game and was like, there we go. That's it, I'm happy. Whereas in reality, I think you've got to beat it like 25 times or something to roll credits. In Hades 2, I don't actually feel like that. Sometimes I just want to go on runs to collect resources to do something different at your home base, the crossroads. Sometimes I just want to go on runs to experience one of the other weapons that I don't often use. Sometimes I want to go on runs to beat the game, obviously, but I feel like there's less emphasis on that. There's more rewards for just doing it rather than winning. Does that make sense? Now, the characters are amazing. I loved Zagreus as a protagonist in the first one, and I also love the song Zagreus by Periphery, but Malinoe is epic. Her character design is honestly like kind of perfect. There's this really nice mix of like yes. attractiveness, but also like bad arsery. Like girls missing an arm, man. That that's pretty much as badass as you can get. While also, you know, like trying to defeat the literal titan of time. Time itself. Badass, man. I love all the other character designs as well. Aphrodite, obviously the goddess of love, a little bit uh a little bit naked, I guess you could say. Hephaestus in the wheelchair is such a good design choice. They definitely are true to the mythology, but they're also their own designs. And I really like that about it. They haven't just taken word for word their description in mythology and gone with that. They've done their own thing here and made it unique. And the whole art style in general is fantastic, not just the character models and designs. This game is absolutely gorgeous. And if you just wanted to play through the whole thing just to find out what the next area is going to look like, 
I honestly don't blame you because that was kind of my motivation in the first couple of runs. I just wanted to beat the first area so that I could find the second one, which is my favorite, by the way, Oceania. Oh, oh, I love that like steampunk under ocean thing. Very cool. Now, I did say we would talk about the Nintendo Switch a bit because, you know, Nintendo channel. Hades 2 is in early access at the moment, which means PC only. But as it stands right now, if we got this early access version of Hades on a cartridge on Switch, I would be over the goddamn moon. It's already so good as it is. Apparently, they're going to be adding more weapons in future updates and things like that. But I mean, I would be happy with that as DLC. I guess Supergiant Games has got a lot to live up to. The first Hades game is universally loved. And again, got me into roguelikes, so I did something right. And I get that Supergiant just wants to make its sequel perfect, you know? They really want to get it right. But honestly, guys, you've got it right. Like, you do not need to worry. This game is so good as it is. So I honestly think we're going to get physical copies of this sooner rather than later. Early access games notoriously can be in early access for years and years, but I don't think that is likely. Okay, I actually finished filming and then I was like, oh my God, I didn't even talk about the freaking music. I've got to come back and film more because the music, man, oh my God, the music. <laughs> the music is so good. Everything is driven by one of many just like crushing bass lines. And by crushing, I don't mean like death metal heavy or anything like that. I just mean like strong, you know, like it carries the whole song. And sometimes it's just bass line. And honestly, kind of love it. Kind of love it. It can get a little bit repetitive sometimes when you're like stuck on like a particularly hard room or you spent a long time in a certain area with the same soundtrack. But overall, I would say the music in this game is like a nine out of 10. They're just like proper good hard rock metal tracks the whole way. And it fits the vibe perfectly. Like when this soundtrack releases, I am getting it. I really hope it comes physical actually, because that's a CD I would definitely not mind having in my collection. So I don't really know what this video was. I think it's just me telling you guys that I love Hades. Oh wait, no, I just thought of it. Hades 2 game of the year. That's what it's going to be. Because I honestly think it's going to be up there in the game of the year conversation, for sure. Damn it, the other video I'm working on is about a game I also think is in the game of the year conversation. Ah, oh, just, I guess I just love too many games. But seriously, if you have access to a PC, please play Hades 2. I promise you, you will not regret it. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you love the first Hades and if you're just going to wait to pick it up on console or if you are going to try this early access thing. I definitely don't regret doing the early access and let's be honest, I'm probably going to double dip on the Switch when it comes here anyway. Thanks everybody. Appreciate you. Do you like my outfit? I tried to go for a nice blend of like cute with the like pink Kirby beanie, but also like metal, right? Right? With the alien weaponry t-shirt. I like the juxtaposition, you know? I feel like it suits my personality pretty well.